morning, afternoon, evening people. So today we're at Corfe Castle, Dorset. Look at that hillside there. Imagine trying to sort that up that hill. So you can see the ruins of the castle at the top of the hill. Corfe Castle was built soon after the Norman invasion, 1066. There's been multiple battles here, which we'll go into history towards the end of the video. While I've got the drone up, I'll do a bit of voiceover. Also, King Edward was murdered here, stabbed to death, and they believe under the orders of his stepmother, who wanted to install her son on the throne. Okay, so got Teddy with us. Pile him off the lead. As you can see, there's sheep living on this hillside. I think we've got a bit of a steep climb. See, so further up the hill, we're getting towards more battlements and uh, defensive positions. You can see we're getting quite high up now. There's a winding footpath down here, a steep embankment. I don't think the type of footpath would have been there. The idea would have been if you to sort this castle, you have to sort that to this. Steep footpath, rain down arrows, rocks, boulders, for oil, or whatever, I guess. Corn Tower. Okay, up towards the other corner. So this was the gateway, across a bridge. Now it's pace getting here, 11 pound each, which I don't think we're going to do. We'll get some good footage with a drone. Now I assume this would have been the entrance way, there would have been a portcullis there. I don't know if this would have been a drawbridge, or if this is the original bridge. But I would expect the bridge wouldn't have survived a thousand years. So we're having a walk around a bit of a town, it's right next to Corfe Castle, and you see there the smallest town hall building in England. Right next to a church. Obviously the castle predates all of this. Nice little pubs. The very old buildings, you can see the size of the doors from some of them. There's some nice gift shops as well. Model of Village and Gardens Cat Museum here. If we can take the dog in, we'll have a look. Okay, tiny museum. Lighting's not brilliant in here. No, so stuff from the Roman villa. That must have been local to this area. Same glass window from Corfe Castle, 1500. Cast iron cauldron, cooking pot, 18th century. And over there, where well you can see it. A very long firearm. It does look like a cap and ball. I don't know where you can see down there where the percussion cap would sit. Okay, single leaf rim lock, 1600s, from the front door of premises in East Street. Corfe Castle, the room looks attached to the surface, the door, the old type of lock used in the UK. So that was to defend someone's property. Which what we think of that for home defence. Ok, 
Okay. Brutal murder, Corfe Castle, Friday, June 2nd, 1882. Miss Holiday festivities in the town on Whit Monday, 20th of May. A degree of gloom was passed over it by the report that a man had been brutally murdered on the highway in broad daylight. For the fast fortnight, two men named Dennis Ridley, aged 35, of Torquay, a licensed peddler, and Henry White of Chichester had been in company visiting various places singing and selling songs. If you can have a read of that, if you want to, I'm not going to read it all, we'll be here all day. By the way, that museum was in the smallest town hall building in England. Sort of size that we were in there. Sorry about the lighting in there, but unfortunately, that's what we had to work with. So view of the castle from the other side of the bridge. You can see some stuff is still standing. So you can get a zoom on that. embankment to attack up. You do get over that wall, you've got another embankment to go up to that, which I assume will be the tallest place to keep. Now there's one disadvantage I can see. Built directly opposite this other hill that is just as tall as this one. I don't know if they would have put in position on top of that, but if I was an attacker, I think I'd like to try and take that high ground there, get a ballista or some cannon or something up on that ridge and just start raining some IDF down on that. So the area we're in is still in the vicinity of Lulworth Ranges. Um, it's now open but the walk's closed. But I did do a video on Lulworth Village, an abandoned World War II village in this area. I'll put a link to that in the description of the video if you want to see that. So back around the other side of the castle now. Might have a walk around that way and see what we can see. As you can see, there's another hill the same height opposite that end. If I was an attacker, I may well take advantage of that. So, we're going to get the drone up now, take a look at what we can see, and I'll do a bit of a voiceover of the history behind the castle and some of the murders and battles that took place here. So, let's see what this place looks like for a bird. And if you know what YouTube line is from, Drop it in the comments. So, Corfe Castle was built shortly after the Norman Conquest of 1066. Since then, it's, it's seen its fair share of battles, murders and miracles, and has been home to kings, knights and a princess. Okay, the assassination of King Edward in March 978. So, there was a Norman fortification here prior to this castle being built by William the Conqueror. Uh, teenage King Edward visited his brother, Ethrald, at the Saxon stronghold that predated the Norman castle we see at Corfe today. During his visit, the young monarch was stabbed to death. And while the incident remains shrouded in mystery to this day, many believe that Edward was murdered on the orders of his stepmother, who wanted to install her king as son. Edward was quickly buried near Wareham, and within a few years, his remains were uh, moved and was said to have been miraculously preserved. So Corfe Castle's position dominates a gap in the Purbeck Hills. Uh, it was probably fortified site long before Norman Conquest 1066. It was William the Conqueror who founded the castle as we know today and he made Corfe Castle a key element in a network of fortifications built to cement his power over the defeated English. Now a lot of the fortifications were hastily thrown up made of wood and this is one of the first ones that was put uh, stone walls to defend it so it's quite an important castle so the keep of the castle we're looking at now was constructed in the early 12th century for King Henry the first we were the conqueror's son it was designed to be impressive and as you can see it certainly would have been jumping forward to 1572 
uh, Sir Christopher Hatton became the first private owner of Corfe Castle. Hatton was a son of Northamptonshire gentry who caught the eye of Queen Elizabeth I and quickly established himself as a court favourite. Then, during the Civil War of uh, 1640s, England was in the grip of civil war between the Roundheads and the uh, Cavaliers, uh, Oliver Cromwell in the Parliamentarian. Uh, Lady Mary Banks led the defence of Corfe Castle during not just one but two sieges while her husband was away serving the king. Of course, tiny garrison was outnumbered. Mary, along with her daughters and maids, defended the battlements until she was betrayed by one of her soldiers. The parliamentarians had used rings as their base to bombard the castle, so the high hills around the castle that I pointed out, as you can see on the footage now, were used to bombard the castle. And then after six centuries of keeping names at bay, an Act of Parliament was passed at Wareham to destroy Corfe Castle. Captain Hughes of Lulworth was given the job of demolishing it. Sappers dug deep holes packed with gunpowder to bring the towers and ramparts crashing down. Uh, that, this is what resulted in the yawning gaps and the crazy angles we see today that I pointed, pointed out while we were walking around. Okay, so I'm just bringing the drone back now. As you can see, I was on the public footpath highway just down there. So I'm going to show you some photos I took with the drone now. Um, so if you enjoyed that video give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos hit subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good day.